on your left knee! Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In February of 2024, a viewer named Ian was door dashing in an area of Wisconsin that he was unfamiliar with and accidentally made a wrong turn onto a one-way street. He was immediately pulled over by Officer Taylor of the Superior Police Department. 547 Superior Traffic Stop. Once stopped, Ian turned on the overhead light and reached into his passenger area to retrieve his ID and to grab his registration and insurance from the glove box. Officer Taylor described Ian's movements in the incident report as reaching over to the passenger side of the vehicle and ducking down several times. He then claims that Ian's retrieval of his documents, the ones that most people keep in the glove box, led him to believe that he was reaching for a weapon or attempting to conceal something. Officer Taylor failed to activate his body cam during the encounter, but officer guard and her partner happened to be down the street at a local homeless shelter and arrived at the scene shortly after a request for backup was made. Put your hands where we can see them. Driver with your left hand. Reach down, open the door. Do it now. With your left hand, grab the door handle and open the door. Do it now. It's locked. It's locked. Unlock it. Keep your hands up. Slowly step out of the vehicle and face away from us. Face away. Keep your hands up. Face away from us right now. All right. Put your hands on your head and interlace your fingers. Go over there with Brown. Go less lethal. Turn face, away. face away from us right sorry, now. Sorry, Justin. You're not listening. Move slowly backwards to the sound of my voice. Do you understand? Start moving. Slow down. Keep facing forward. Keep walking. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head and face forward right now. Stop moving. Hold up. Let me take over for a second. Keep looking forward. Don't do anything other than keep your hands on top of your head. That's it. Put your hands on top of your head. Stop guys, moving. Guys, you have guns on me. I really do not feel like I'm being... Follow our instructions. Where are these lasers? I want you to get down on your left knee. Can I get an Get down! On your left knee. Do it now, or you're going to get tased. Get down on your left knee. Get his hand. Get the hand. Just seconds after warning Ian of the use of a taser, officer guard fired her taser twice at Ian, once in his back and another immediately after into his lower legs. Disoriented and confused, Ian believed he had been shot. I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Keep watching the vehicle, Mikey. Yeah. Help me. Ian was placed in cuffs and searched as he writhed in pain, unable to feel his legs. Put your knees up to your chest. I can't feel my legs. Okay. Do you need medical attention? What does that entail? It entails an ambulance coming to look at you to make sure that you are medically okay. Can I get some time to collect my We're thoughts? We're going to need you to stand up now, or we are going to stand you up. You either do it yourself, or we do it for you. How many people are in the vehicle? You can send me up. There's no one else in the vehicle. I have, I have, I have How many people? Up. There's no one in there. There's no one else in the car. Okay. I have shirts in the back. See, covering the windows because I banged in there one time. Okay. While they detain Ian, Sergeant Brown tries to extract a passenger that doesn't exist. Is there anyone, can you see anyone else in the vehicle, Chris? Without placing too wide? Okay, we're good. We got this, guys. Passenger in the vehicle! We know you're there! Put your hands up! No, one person commands. Passenger in the vehicle, put your hands up! Passenger in the vehicle, we know that you're there, put your hands up! 
Hey, this isn't a great place for you right now. <laughs> they eventually realize that the vehicle is empty and search it, but nothing of evidentiary value was found. Oh, my dick hurts so bad. I didn't think to We're trying to get just off the moving. <laughs> Could you just your knees. Me? Could you okay. just yep. put one, two, three. I give you three. consent to just put me however you want. Ready? One, two. Thanks. Yeah. Move, walking back this way. Ooh. You're okay. We'll get it. Walking him back. Walking yep, this back. is crazy. Behind the squad. This is so crazy. I've never just been like hurt like that before. Okay. I'm going to take a look at these pros. He's not answering my question about medical, so Sorry. I'm just going to do it myself. No, 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 no. There's no medical that I need. You know, I just said I hurt his all, you know. The piece to pull it out. We could. Um, otherwise, I can probably do it with my hands. Sorry, We're going to get these probes job. out of your shirt, okay? I just really would like to know what's okay, happening. Okay, we'll explain what's happening in a second. My my partner pulled you over Ooh. and called for more squads, and here we are. Well, right, and then like, we're in this position because you were not following our commands. Well, I pulled over right away, and then like a bunch of more you cops You were not following up. our commands. That is why we are in the position we are in. I followed all your commands. You I sure swear. didn't. What didn't I do? You sure did not follow what our commands. What did I not do? We can discuss okay. that in a little bit. Okay. Do you want your whole wallet to go with you or just your ID? Your whole wallet? Whole wallet. Okay. Alright. Just so I'm on the same page. Yep. So the reason for the stop is that the one So way. I was trying to catch up to him on Tower Avenue because his tag light's out. Okay. And so he's ducking and weaving, crosses through, he turns on 23rd, goes up Hewitt's, or uh, up Ogden. Cuts over here and then stops, like in the middle of the roadway. Okay. And eventually goes and he turns up, going the wrong way here. I didn't line him up or anything like that. That's when I lit him up. Okay. He pulled over here. And, and then, then he was like diving across the side of the vehicle, digging around a lot. This was okay. down at his feet. It's like tucked under his yes. driver's seat. It's okay. okay. He's on the passenger seat. He wants that too. Oh, yeah. While discussing the incident, it appears the officers were as befuddled as Ian and were unsure what to charge him with. Eventually, they suggested resisting. So what are you, what are you trying to say? Yeah, I'm going to hurt him 16. That's the only thing I can really... Yeah. Then I'll cite him. Did you well, search his I'll vehicle at all, or no, are we leaving it? I think yeah, he wants us to just it. lock it up and okay. leave it. Okay, okay. Yeah, whatever you stop. observe, your reasoning for the stop, I would cite him for that too. Yeah, okay. for sure. Just because, I mean, we obviously pulled him out because of all the furtive movement and he was, you know, acting weird. The officers then question what they should do with the DoorDash food and joke about going viral on TikTok. Are you DoorDashing? Yeah. Where's that order I need to go to? I don't know. Is it the address that's showing on the top of your phone? I have, I was taking it to two yeah, different houses I was DoorDashing to. Yeah. Should we deliver their food to them? Is that what, what you're doing? doing? Yeah, we'll probably should. I see one TikTok. I'm down for doing that. Um, he he, doesn't he, spiral he said he wants the food to just them just get refunded. Okay. Oh, Otherwise, okay. we could deliver it. And that's why I was wrong with that. He said, I just, I just wanted to just okay. get refunded. Okay. As they leave the scene, Officer Guard appears to celebrate quietly that the incident was caught on video just seconds before turning off her body cam. Instead of an apology, Sergeant Brown allegedly told the officers that they did nothing wrong, and Ian was taken to the Douglas County Jail. There he was told he could have been charged with something more serious, and that they were doing Ian a favor by only charging him with an accidental turn down a one-way street and resisting arrest. Later affirming to Ian that their grand gesture was due to him having no criminal history whatsoever, the officers then decided not to lock Ian up and issued citations instead, dropping him back off at his vehicle. The reason all these other officers arrived and everything else transpired was because when I first got to you, behind you, and lit you up, you were reaching over across your vehicle, moving around a lot. We call that furtive movement. All right, Ian, I'll be mailing those citations to you. What's that? I'll be mailing those citations to you. Okay. To that address you gave me. Yeah. Okay. 
and I'll I'll make sure I highlight everything on there that, that's in uh that's important for you to read, okay? Back at his car, Ian realized that his phone was now missing and had to find the police station to retrieve it. The department later told Ian that cameras in the booking area weren't working and that no record of what they told him existed or how they refused to take pictures of the wounds that weren't documented on scene. Ian now has court dates in the near future, but has had difficulty finding a lawyer for the charges. So we are looking to find him one in the Superior, Wisconsin area. If you are or know of one, please email me and I will connect you directly to Ian. You will also find Ian's GoFundMe link below if you wish to donate to his legal funds. Let me know what you think of this interaction. Was the force used excessive? Or do you think one of the five officers on scene could have taken a much smaller Ian into custody without tasing him? Or perhaps you have other thoughts about whether Ian even needed to be detained at all? Let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoy these videos, check out another episode linked on screen.